molar conductance molar conductance at infinity dilution at infinite dilution and uh, zero concentration zero concentration so here concentration should be zero so that is uh, that is uh, that is a uh, d by hakel and so the equation so what is that equation equation is a cap m equal to cap m0 minus b root c so cap m is a molar conductance molar conductance that uh, cap m zero or cap uh, m infinity that is infinity that is molar conductance molar conductance conductance at infinity dilution in at infinity dilution and a zero concentration and a zero concentration so b is a d by Huckel constant d by Huckel constant c is a concentration c is a electrolyte concentration okay so concentration so here generally what they are asking that question is in your examination of the examination point of view so, for example, they will give Na, NaCl electrolyte solution. Electrolyte solution. How to break this bond? It is 1 is to 1. 1 cation, 1 anion. So, for example, KCl is there. How to break? 1 is to 1. For example, MgCl2. So, here, the, here what is the oxidation state of uh, uh, magnesium? Plus 2. Is 2. Again, what is the chlorine oxidation state? 1. So, it is. it should be 2 is to 1. So maximum strength they wrote uh, one is to two, but don't write down the one is to two. It should be two is to two. It is you have to write down the oxidation state of the metal. Okay. So for example, Na2SO4. So here, what is the oxidation state of thorium? One. One is to SO4 minus two. So one is to two. So here MgSO4. What is the oxidation state? So magnesium plus two and SO4 also minus two. That is two is to two. Okay, so they will get a question. This is actually they are asking the question in maximum times in the entrance examination. So they will give the lambda m that is sorry cap m. Then another one is a root c concentration. So here I am given that uh, one question. So this is a car. It shows the weak electrolyte. So it should be whenever it is a term is weak. Curve is there. That is weak electrolyte. Weak electrolyte. Example, weak acids, carboxylic acid. If it is a the same car, so it should be like a you know, this is a straight line. It is a strong electrolyte, case here. Strong electrolyte. So means means here weak electrolyte, it does not uh, touch with the this uh, y-axis. But whereas at a strong electrolyte, it is easily touched. Means we cannot find out the molar conductance for weak electrolyte at infinity dilution. It should be infinity. Okay. So that's what we get here. Third for weak electrolyte, strong electrolyte, we get a we get a straight. Is it okay? For example, same question they will give the question that is a cap M, then a root C. Here, this is a carboxylic acid. Compared to this one. This one is a formic acid. So here, which is a more acidic acid? Formic acid. For example, this one. What is this? KCl. So we strong. Strong always get the straight line. Then we always get the curve. Now solve this question. I am given that uh, here. This is a cap M molar conductance and a root C. I have to draw the different different colors so for this question. So you have to solve which is a, a 
uh, strong acid, which is weak acid. So the first one is uh, this one. Then second one is this. Then third one is they will give the option. So one is a uh, first one. Uh, so I will give this here x, y, z. So here x is uh, x, y, z. So x is a uh, nickel sulfate, KCl, acetic acid. Nickel sulfate, KCl, acetic acid. Then second one is uh, KCl, nickel sulfate, then acetic acid. Then third one is uh, third one is uh, KCl, acetic acid, CH3COH, acetic acid, then nickel sulfate. Then fourth one, fourth one, acetic acid, acetic acid, nickel sulfate, then KCl. This is the I'll give the question. So in this in this case, that straight one, whatever that X uh, we consider as a strong acid and uh, Z, uh, the bottom one always weak acid in between that is a moderate, that is a Y. Okay. So now I will do the another one is a cold rush lock. Yes, another very, very important law that is cold rush law. So Kohl-Rush law. Kohl-Rush law. Kohl-Rush law of independent, uh, independent uh, migration. Independent migration. What is the definition here, Kohl-Rush law? So it states that it state uh, it state it it states that it states that molar conductive molar conductivity conductivity of an electrolyte of an electrolyte of an electrolyte at a infinity at infinite dilution at infinity dilution is sum of individual 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 molar conductance molar conductance of cation and uh, anion. It should be individual. Means here the simple logic is here molar conductance at infinity dilution it is equal to the sum of sum of individual of molar conductance of molar conductance of what is this? Cation means here positive charge particle plus molar conductance of anion. Molar conductance of cation and molar conductance of anion. Sometimes some books they wrote a molar conductance at infinity dilution is called lambda. Lambda cation plus lambda anion. Both are same. So this one is a zero. Both are same. Okay. For example, for example, NaCl they will give. So what is the here cation? Lambda Na plus ion. Then lambda Cl minus Ia. Okay, this is a, a hard to find out that uh, cold rush law. So, cold rush law always they will give the question from cold rush law, they will do the uh, conductance of any salt. You have to find out another one. So, the what type of the questions they are asking, I will tell you. So, here sometimes they are asked the question equivalent conductance that the equivalent conductance equal to always a molar conductance by valency factor or equivalent conductance equal to molar conductance by z z is the valency both are same 
both are same. For example, they will give the MGCL. You have to find out the that is a, a infinity deletion molar conductance of MGCL. How to write down that uh, infinity deletion of uh, molar conductance? Always uh, that infinity deletion that is MGCL2 gives rise to mu cation lambda plus then mu anion lambda minus. Why it is a mu? Here it shows that uh, Mg plus 2 plus 2 electric, 2 Cl minus. This is a coefficient. So molar coefficient. So here there is no uh, 1 into Mg plus 1. Here 2 into Cl minus. Cl minus. Okay. Similarly, I am giving the one more question for you. So here the ionic conductance of the ionic uh, Conductance, conductance of Mg plus 2 and uh, Cl minus at, uh, at uh, infinity dilution, at infinity dilution are 110 and uh, 76 Siemens. Uh, centimeter square mole inverse mole inverse calculator calculator molar conductance molar and uh, equivalent uh, conductance molar and equivalent conductance of mgcl2 mgcl2 at a infinity dilution. This is a question at the infinity dilution. First, what they will use you have to write down. So, what are the uh, data they will use? So, molar ionic conductance of Mg plus 2 and uh, means that is a uh, cap Mg plus 2 here. What is this? 110. Then lambda Cl minus anion is 76. They are asked the question molar conductance and uh, equivalent conductance. This is a question. Okay. So here I will write here this is a molar conductance of MgCl2 equal at infinity dilution that is a new Mg plus 2 then lambda Mg plus 2 plus mu minus then uh, lambda Cl minus. So here mu is a coefficient. So 1 into lambda Mg plus 2 plus uh, 2 into C, Cl minus. What is that? Uh, what they will use that ions? So Mg plus 2, that is 110. So here 110 plus uh, 2 into 76. So 110 plus 2, goes over 152. 152, so it is uh, 262 molar conductance at infinity dilution. If they, they will ask the question, equivalent conductance. So what they will use? Molar conductance by valency factor. Here valency factor MgCl2, valency is a plus 2 now. So valence factor is 2. So that here 262 by 2, that is a 131. That is a centimeter square moments. So if it is equivalent, that is equivalent units. Calculate molar conductance and uh, equivalent conductance, equivalent conductance at infinity dilution, at infinity dilution of salt, of salt, of salt. C double bond OK and uh, C double bond ONA. What is this? Sodium potassium oxalate. The ionic conductance, ionic conductance of C2O4 minus 2. 
k plus and uh, and uh, n a plus at uh, infinity dilution or 148 uh, 148.2 comma 50.2 and uh, and uh, 73 point uh, 73.74 ohm inverse centimeter square mole inverse. This is a question. They are asked the question molar conductance and equivalent conductance. So now you have to solve the problem. What they will give the question? So they will give first you have to check, you have to write down the equation. So P double bond O K then C double bond O and A. C double bond O K and C double bond O and A. So how to break this bond? This is a C double bond O minus then C double bond O minus with a K plus plus N A plus. They are asking a question for salt. So they are asking this one. You have to add all these things. So what they will give that oxalate ion? This is oxalate ion. Molar conductance uh, equal to oxalate ion. What is that oxalate ion? 148.2 plus what is the sodium value? Sodium, yeah, potassium 50.2. Then 50.2. Then what is the sodium value here? That is 73.74. 73.74. 73.74. So we have to add a total that is 272.272.172.14. This is a molar conductance of that sodium potassium oxalate. So again, they ask the question equivalent conductance. Here, molar conductance here is a anion this is a, what is the oxidation state minus two so that valency factor is two so that equivalent conductance 272.114 by two that is a 136.07 that is a equivalent conductance equivalent conductance